Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa and in today's video I will teach you how you can date an undated digital planner using the date sticker book. So as I said, I will be using the dates sticker book. You can find this at Printstick. I'm gonna leave the link below and it comes with thousands of stickers, you know, numbers, weekdays, month names, etc. that you can use to date your undated digital planners. So having an undated digital planner is very, very handy. I've mentioned this in other videos I have. And in fact, I have a video talking about the pros and cons of both dated and undated because they both have, you know, their place. Dated is very comfortable to use. If you are new to digital planning, it removes a lot of the pressure because the dates are already put in there for you. So you don't have to worry about dating the planner yourself. Dating a planner can take a lot of time and effort. And if you don't mind purchasing a new planner every year, then I would say just go for dated. And that's a subject for a different day. But today we'll focus on the undated planners because I honestly do use undated planners and I love just how easy it is to just open the planner and start using it whenever you want. So for example, this planner, I have my tabs here and this is a brand new planner that I haven't introduced to you guys yet. And so I have my months here, January, February, March, and I, I started using this planner in August and I'm actually using this planner to track something in particular. So I will back plan and start using it in August. I have all of the information. I just haven't added it to my pages yet, but I did start dating the pages and that's why I'm making this video to show you how I'm doing it. So I've dated August, I've dated September. This planner on its own comes with different background colors and that's why I love being able to select the style and font and, you know, stickers that I want to use. Again, the digital sticker book that I'm gonna show today comes with a lot of options, colors, and different styles for your dates, months, and weekdays. Okay, so that book I've been talking about, I have it in GoodNotes, and the book comes already in this format, which is ready to open in GoodNotes. You will be able to navigate it. It's an interactive file, so you have links that take you through the pages, you have your index, and then you can navigate to the different sections where you have the dates or the numbers. And these are all individual stickers ready to be used. And in most of my videos in the past, I've used my stickers within GoodNotes. So you just copy and paste them. And if you are exclusively using GoodNotes, I do think that for dating, definitely stick to the GoodNotes version of your date sticker book because it's just faster. You will be able to copy the whole chunk of numbers at once and resize them all at the same time. And then, you know, add them to each of the boxes in the calendar view on your planner. However, I'm really attached to this other app that I've been using to keep all of my stickers. And what I wanted to show you today is that it's very easy to use split screen view to do it. So I'll get to that in a second. I just wanted to mention that I do have a full overview video of everything that's included in this sticker book. So if you want to look at it, I'm going to link it below because as you can see, you have so, so many stickers that you can use. All right, so I'm going to close this because I have also saved all of those stickers to this other app that I mentioned before. I'm going to leave the details of it in the description below. But in the meantime, if you don't have that app, you can also do exactly the same. Everything that I'm going to be doing today, you can do it with the files app, which is already installed on your iPad. So after you purchase the sticker book, just make sure to send all of the PNG files to the files app and then you will be able to use it instead of the app that I will be showing today. Okay, so as I said, I will start using this planner in August. I mean, we are already in the following year. I'm aware of that, but as I said, I need to back plan and add some info to these pages. So yeah, I dated August, September. And in fact, I just wanna show you that this is an undated planner. So this text box wasn't here. I added it, literally just grabbed my text tool and added these numbers. And I happen to have the same font that was used here, which is called Mireya. I'm going to link it below. So it's very easy for me to make it seem like the number was already on the planner, but it wasn't. So I'm just going to grab that and then just paste it on my next month, September, which is dated already. And today we are going to be dating the month of October, 2020. So I'm just going to paste the year here first. And the next thing I'm going to do is finally get to opening this app that I keep talking about where I keep all of my stickers. And I'm gonna go to split screen view to the smallest size so I have more space in GoodNotes because I'm gonna be working here. And let's just look for a color that works, maybe that yellow, but let me keep looking for a little bit. Blue, gray could be good or this. I think this color would work well, but let me just check what else is here. 
I also like this color actually too. Okay, so once you've picked the stickers that you want to use, tap and drag on each one of them and add it to your page in GoodNotes. And yeah, you do have to do this 31 times, but you know, it's quick and easy. It's not that bad. And you know what? I've noticed something really positive in GoodNotes. I think that now the stickers are not being resized as I drag them, meaning that they're not changing their size because this used to be a real big problem in the past where whenever you would drag a sticker, GoodNotes would pick a random size for it. So if you wanted your dates all to have the same size, it didn't work because, you know, they were all just different sizes and it was really hard and time consuming to go back and resize them all individually so that they would look even. But now, as you can see, they barely change sizes. So that's a big plus. And if you were struggling with this, know that I think that problem, I can't say it's gone because I've experienced it a couple of times, but I mean, already in like a hundred stickers that I've used today, it only happened twice so it's really good all right so October does need the 31 days and when I'm done passing all of my stickers I'm just going to get out of split screen view so now I have all of my stickers and I'm not 100% sure that they're all sized exactly the same but they look pretty good so far so I'm just gonna grab my lasso make sure that your images option is turned to on under the lasso menu and you can then just lasso all of these images at once and then click on that selection that you created click on resize and with this little ball here drag it to make them smaller something like that doesn't have to be super small you can choose whichever size works for you now I need to know where my first and last days of this month are going to go. So I have already added my yearly calendars here and I can go and check that October of 2020 started on a Thursday and ended on a Saturday, okay? So Thursday to Saturday, so I know that the number one must be on Thursday, okay? Now I go back to October and this time I'm gonna activate my toolbar again I will click on this image icon, no longer the lasso, because since all of the stickers are stacked on top of each other, if I lasso, you know, I will not be able to select just one, and that's why you need the image tool. All right, so since I have my 31st on top of everything else, I need to start dating backwards. So the 31st was a Saturday, which should be this one. So I'm just gonna drag the 31 to this box. Now, I have a few tips to tell you. One is you need to zoom in a little bit so that it's easier to select and drag your stickers. It happens a lot that you select the sticker and you accidentally start resizing or rotating it. And to avoid that, you can just make sure to first select it and then just drag the bottom left corner of the sticker because as you can see, your resizing tools are on the other side, so like the top right side of it. So if you stick to this side, it's unlikely that you'll make that mistake. It used to happen a lot to me. And another thing I wanna say, once you have zoomed in enough so that it's comfortable you know, to start dragging your stickers to the correspondent boxes, another tip I have for you is to use these boxes here, the resizing boxes as a reference and try to align those with the edges of the calendar box so that when I go and do the same with all the other stickers, then I have a way of aligning them. And if you've seen in my other videos, you can also draw your own grids using the pen tool and the perfect shape tool. You would draw lines like this and then you can use those as a guide to know where to place your stickers. But this other method that I just mentioned, I find it just as helpful and a little faster. That's just something that I wanted to share with you in case that you want everything to be super well aligned, just like I do. Okay, so now here I literally just go and drag each one of my stickers to the corresponding box. I actually find this kind of fun, definitely relaxing and yeah, I don't mind. This is the third month I've dated today. I usually only date one month at a time, so the one that I'm planning for because I have my yearly calendar anyway. So if I need to refer to other dates besides the month that is going on, I can just refer to my yearly calendar. However, as I mentioned before, in this particular occasion, I need to back plan. So it's kind of like I'm already behind because, you know, we're in January of the following year and I need all these months to be done. So so it can be a lot, just give yourself time and patience and I don't recommend trying to do everything at once otherwise you'll be like, I hate undated digital planners, this is so much work. So just, you know, take one month at a time, one month every day if you want or if you just have a lot of time then this is a perfect activity to pass the time. 
Okay, and then I'm just doing my last or first rather row up here. Okay, and if you recall, number one was supposed to be on a Thursday, so we did it right, didn't make any mistakes. So yeah, that's how you can date an undated digital planner. As you can see, it's definitely easy and it also gives you the option to have all of your dates look different in every month, so you don't get bored of looking at the same. Another thing I want to mention, if you do get tired or you don't find the time to date a ton of pages, you can also just grab all of your numbers that you have already placed here, so you skip that part where you have to tap and drag each one of these stickers. You copy them all with your lasso, you go into the following month, in this case November, this color works perfectly well as well, and then you just align them. I'm gonna align this text box here as well. Now I'm just using my phone to check that November starts on a Sunday. Okay, so what I do, this one has to be on a Sunday, so what I'll do is I'll just grab all of the numbers, move them onto Sunday, okay, and then the ones that are falling out of the calendar, I will just grab them and bring them to the left side. And as you can see, one, and then you have your two, and the four, five, and everything aligns perfectly. So this saves you a ton of time for the following times that you want to date a planner and if you don't mind using the same stickers. Well, and of course, don't forget that November only has 30 days, so just get rid of the last 31 here. So yeah, guys, I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you want to know more tips and tricks on cool things that you can do on your iPad, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell to turn on the notifications so you know when there's a new video available. If you have any questions at all, drop them below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.